Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Generations LP Part 8? 7? I don't even know. Whatever part this is, here it is. Um, so in this part, the fall, not the fall festival, the winter festival is now in town. Luna, it's Luna's birthday today, by the way, so Luna will be aging up, which I am so freaking excited about because it's our first time interacting with um, our own kid who's a toddler not the damn daycare uh, so that's really exciting so once Joseph gets home from work I will have them go ahead and age up Luna and I did play some new things around in the town in this part um what did I change up right here at the drinks uh this place right here, I switched it up and I named it Drinks at the End Zone. And it is like a place for adult, <laughs> young adult Sims maybe. Um, it is more of a outgoing place. Uh, I would definitely say so for, you know, older people. Um, if you guys can see this, we're going to hire a chef for this place. Uh, but we have little thingies right here where we can place an oven and not what the fuck am I talking about where we could order food um which is good I mean this is my first time you know actually playing around with the restaurant stuff I did play around with it uh, when I filmed the video and a little bit but this is like the first time in game um that I have actually <laughs> like seen it seen it so, I'm not exactly sure how this would work, but I'm going to go ahead and... I mean, I know how to do it. It's just kind of weird, you know what I mean? We're going to go ahead and select a bunch of stuff. Okay. So, our Sims could come here, place an order, all that good stuff. Over here, some games they could play. I don't know why a child Sim is here. It's definitely not the place that I was hoping for children to be here. Um... I can't talk. I really did not get, like, any sleep. I went to bed at 7 a.m., which is not healthy. Here we just have uh, a dance floor, which up here I didn't know what to do, so I threw, it, threw in, like, gambling stuff. Um, I really have no idea what to do. Um, what else did I do? Do, 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 do. Uh, I knew I threw in some other stuff. Um, over here, I customized the playground a little bit, adding in things from Generations and cool things like that, like the water slide over here and the sandbox back there. Can't really see it because of the deep snow. And right over here, I added a itty bitty <laughs> teeny, um, coffee shop, which we will actually come to. Uh, we just have, you know coffee and snacks and just like a little lounge place really really cute Lana Del Rey on the wall you guys already know that's what I forgot <laughs> to put in I forgot to do the bathroom I'll definitely have to go back in there and put a bathroom but this is it it's super duper cute and little and petite petite <laughs> okay but um I think we're gonna go ahead and have Justine and Luna head out for the day um we're gonna go ahead and put Luna back in her crib and we are going to use the restroom, take a shower real fast, and then we are going to head to the coffee shop to grab a coffee and maybe take her take her out for the day, go get some lunch or something. Actually, we're pretty pretty full right now, but we're going to go ahead and head out with the baby and then um Joseph gets home at 3 p.m., so maybe we'll just go get some coffee and then come home, and then we'll have her little party. Not really a party, but maybe invite over a few friends like Zahara and... Okay. And a couple of other people. I actually placed... Also, I keep placing things. Look at me go. Placed their future house uh, somewhere around here. Their future house that my friend built for me. She's amazing. She built my Island Paradise house, which was amazing. <laughs> Still is amazing. But she did build me a house for generations and it's perfect for what I want it to be. It's just lovely. Everything about it is just like really, really beautiful. I 
don't know where it is because I can't find it on the map. But it is absolutely stunning if we pass by it or something. I will definitely stop and show it to you guys because I can't wait to move into it. I mean, we could move into it now, but we'd be like broke. And like seriously have no money for furniture. That's right here. Is that it? Yep. This is the future house uh, for our Generations LP. It is absolutely adorable, especially when there's like no snow on the ground or anything. Um, but we're going to go ahead and go to the back real fast. And yeah, this is it. Future LP house. And it's really cute. And I love it. So you guys will see that in the future. But for now, um, we are going to go ahead and head to the coffee shop out here and just chill a little bit. It's called the Java Lava Coffee House. So we're going to head here with Luna Fenderson. And do we have the stroller with us? No, we don't. Did we not buy one? Let me go ahead and purchase one really quick. Thought I purchased one, but apparently not. Uh, strollers did come with generations. It was like a big thing. Um, when I saw the strollers, I I died. <laughs> I actually like cried a little bit because I was so excited. Um, let's see. We'll get this one. It's like watermelon colored. You could customize it to your likings and everything, of course, but I'm just going to go ahead and take this one. Let's go ahead and head out. I believe, yeah, Snowflake Day is in three days. Uh, well, I think we'll host a party, a little get-together, a rendezvous, even though our house is, like, tiny. Why not, right? YOLO. <laughs> but we're going to go head out. No? Go get some coffee at the Java Lava Coffee House. <laughs> Okie dokie. And we will go purchase a... We're about to place the baby on the floor, which is terrible. But we're going to buy a soy chai... Chai? With banana sprinkles. Okay, Joseph left to work with 383 simoleons today. Ooh, and he got a promotion. Um, he is now a grunt. What the fuck is that? Uh, he now... Uh, he got a bonus of... I can't talk. 600 simoleons. And he now makes... 55 simoleons per an hour and works from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. He had a pretty stressful day. Where's the baby? No, you do not. No. Go get the baby out of the snow. <laughs> go get your fucking kid out of... Sorry. Sorry for the language. But go pick her up. Get her out of the snow. Like, what? Go pick her up. Like, that is not healthy. Okay, um, snuggle her, <laughs> play with her. What a bad mom. Anyways, we will place Luna in here real fast. I wish you could like hold your kid. And there we go. There's the stroller. So cute. Um, he's already home. It's been home for like an hour now, but it's whatever. We're gonna get our coffee. Uh. Oh, we can get a different one over here. This one, we will get a banana soy latte with white chocolate sprinkles. That that sounds pretty good. Maybe I'll go get a coffee after I'm done filming this because I need it for sure. Just take a good drink of this and then head home. Our baby's on the floor, but YOLO. <laughs> Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and head home now. But yeah. Oh. But, you know, you think automatically they would grab their kid. Um, but apparently not. Usually they do. That's really messed up. And I don't know what to say. Um, but now we're going to go ahead, celebrate Luna's birthday, and watch her age up. And I'm super excited, actually. I I'm wondering whose feature she got. But we're going to go ahead and skip until she gets home. And now nah, we'll just go with her. What the hell? Right? It's right there. Um... Because I'm very curious. Oh, she's not in a good mood, but oh well. Let's go ahead and purchase the birthday cake and get this little, like I said before, this little rendezvous going. And it's 
um, she's very tired. So we will throw a birthday party. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do it. I was going to invite over a couple of people, but we'll just go ahead and throw, throw her own little party at home. Nobody there but her parents and not a big deal. And her next birthday, we will definitely have a little bit of a better celebration for sure. This is like the worst birthday ever. Like her mom's going over to the multi-tab. It's terrible. She's blonde. That is so weird. We're changing her hair color. You guys can see that right there. Um, this has happened to me actually in my other generation's LP. Um, they came out blonde. Which to me is really weird. <laughs> because neither of her parents are blonde uh but we're gonna go ahead and take her into create a sim and switch that up give her probably i'm thinking her mom's hair color or her, yeah i'm thinking her mom's hair color but her mom's hair color i can't have the hiccups is uh kind of hard to manage like to get it so maybe we'll just give her joseph's hair i don't know we're gonna go ahead and uh transform her into a fender sim, i guess <laughs> She is definitely a cutie for sure. Like, you can see it in her face. She has little freckles. I think all my toddler babies have been getting freckles lately because I've been downloading a lot of freckled skins and stuff because I am in love with freckled skin right now. Um, I think they're absolutely beautiful. But let's go ahead and switch her appearance up a little bit and uh, give her a bit of a different look. We'll try to get her mom's hair color. I doubt we'll be able to get it spot on. I mean, it's like kind of her mom's hair color, I would say. Maybe like that. Yeah, that's like her mom's hair color. We'll give her that. Give some eyebrows. <laughs> um, that will work. And she definitely has cute little eyes. Oh, they're really cute. Um, her hair, let's switch her hair up. We can give her cute little piggy tails. Oh, those are... I loved those. I believe those came with ambitions, right? Yeah, ambitions. And we could give her a little snow hat because it's winter or I don't know. It's like a little bow thingy. Or I could go with the hat that came with generations, but to me that's more like summer, springtime-ish, and it's not either of those anymore. We can do Cinnabon rolls. <laughs> those are so those are my favorite favorite all-time favorite or we could give her long hair <laughs> i think we're gonna give her the cinnabon rolls it's my favorite like all my toddlers you will see them in this because it is so darn cute like look at that so darn cute maybe we'll do this because this one's absolutely adorable too oh this is hard um i use the cinnabon rolls literally all the time so we'll go ahead and just give her some little pigtails because those are so freaking cute um let's go ahead and dress her in a little outfit it is winter time so something that's a little little cozy would be nice um we'll do some store content and i can't i'm crazy what's wrong with me we will do Th 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 this maybe I I think we'll do this and just customize it a little bit. Do white and that's really cute. Give her some little shoesies. Um, these little flats. Oh, they're so damn cute. Uh, make them all white like that. Oh, she's so cute. I can't look at her. Oh, she's so cute. Her formal wear, we will just give her this little dress from Island Paradise, which is so cute. Oh, so cute. <laughs> and for sleepwear, we will give her just the little, look at the little bikini that came with Island Paradise. I'll definitely be showing this off in my Island Paradise if they ever have a girl baby, but just in case they don't, look at that little bikini. It's so darn cute. Um, we will give her 
some beanie pajamas. <laughs> and for outerwear, I will just give her, she will need this because it is pretty cold out lately. Uh, so we'll give her that. Yeah, it's good enough, whatever. Um, so yeah, that is Luna Fenderson. Adorable. <laughs> and a devil. Like, what, 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 what? <laughs> She's so cute, though. Like, she definitely is a cutie. But I don't understand why she had blonde hair. That's kind of weird, you know what I mean? Like, that happened to me before, too. And it was kind of, like, unexplainable. Like, how? How? Explain? Um... But we're going to go ahead and get her a little high chair and place it over here. And oh, I put one upstairs. That's right. What am I talking about? We have one upstairs. Why would I need that? Uh, but we're going to go ahead and buy a potty chair for the child. Put it right next to the toys. Toilet. Can't talk. Or we'll put it right there. Yeah, that's fine. And we will be teaching her all this great stuff that came with Generations. Like I said, Generations, all about family, right? This kid is in a terrible mood. Uh, her dad's going to go ahead and change her and then put Luna to bed because she's definitely in a mood. So, Joseph, stop eating your cake. Be a good dad for once and go take care of her, please. <laughs> And then eat your cake with your wife. So cute. I think they're going to have another baby uh, soon, definitely. Um, maybe they'll try for a baby at the end of this part. Um, they're not going to have too many kids. Probably three at max. Um, probably three kids, definitely. I think that's what I want. Okay. He's going to go ahead and put her to bed now. What are you doing? Put her to bed. No. Put Luna to bed. Put Luna to bed. Why? Is he like... Is he getting enjoyment out of this? I think he is. I think he's getting enjoyment out of this. I think he is. I think you're getting enjoyment out of this. You are a terrible person. <laughs> you are a terrible person. Alrighty, I'm going to have him go ahead and go to sleep now because he does need to go to sleep. He needs to get ready for work and everything in the morning. So, Luna, shut up. Let, him, let your dad go to sleep. Come on. I will get back to you guys when they wake up. Alrighty, so good morning everybody. Uh, Joseph is off to work as usual and now Justine is just waking up. I think today she's going to clean up the house a little bit and then maybe head to the park even though it's snowing out and it's really heavy. Maybe we'll head to the winter festival actually because that is in town. So maybe we'll head to the winter festival instead and then to end the part we will go try for a baby. And hopefully gets impregnated. Hmm. <laughs> but uh, for now, we're just going to go ahead and clean the house. And I'll get back to you guys when we're done with that. Because who wants to see that, right? Her cleaning dishes and all that annoying stuff. But I will get back to you guys like in a half a second. Okay, things didn't go according to plan. As you guys can see, it is pretty late in the day. They... The sink broke, and then, like, we had to unclog the toilet, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, she unclogged it. Uh, she's gonna just go clean the toilet really fast now, and looks like he's coming to see his little girl. Um, we're gonna have him attack her with the claw, which was a new interaction that came with uh, Generations, which is super cute. Like, look, <laughs> look at them. Oh, they are so cute. Um, so freaking cute. I think we're going to go ahead and, um, buy a walker really fast. Uh, this came with Aurora's guys, and basically it teaches your kid how to walk for you, um, which is really, really handy. Um, so we're going to go ahead and purchase a walker and put Luna in it down here. 
while her parents go upstairs and try for another baby. So she won't be exposed to a nastiness um, at such a young age. Um, but he's going to go woohoo with Justine, hopefully. Hopefully they will. Oh, well. Okay, here I am. Hopefully she won't have to witness that. And then you just look over. She's just like watching <laughs> awkwardly. Um, <laughs> oh, for her. Oh, I feel so bad for her. But they're going to go try for that baby now. She's like, oh my gosh. Like Mission Impossible climbing up shit. <laughs> Alrighty, they're gonna go ahead and get in there if he would move. I said if he would move. Okay. We're gonna try again. I guess Justine will make the first move. <laughs> that shower has pr hopefully produced two babies. Let's listen. Yay, she's pregnant again. Congrats, congrats. Alrighty, so before... Shit. I always mess up. Before I try for a baby, can I just change their outfit? Of course not, right? Because I am not thinking. So now she's pregnant and I can't change her outfit. But, oh well, we'll have to deal uh, with whatever we get. I'm scared. I'm really scared. <laughs> So, um, in the next part, she will get her baby bump, and she'll have her second baby, which will be a winter baby. But, um, by the time the baby's a toddler, it'll be springtime, so we can do spring activities with that toddler, aka do stuff like go to the park and stuff. With Luna, she's out of luck, and it's winter time, and there's not much she can do. <laughs> like, we can't take her to the park, which is terrible. But in this part, not really too much happened. Sorry if I'm, like... I sound exhausted. I am just oh so exhausted. Hopefully by the time the new baby comes, which actually next time when the baby comes, like when the baby comes, if that makes any sense, uh, we actually need to be moving into the new house. So um, I'm pretty sure they can't. Oh my gosh, she can. We can get the um, inheritance thing that did come with generations, which is actually a thing I, I told you guys we're going to be doing because nothing like earning some inheritance money right here. We'll do that in the next part. Um, basically, you get quite a bit of money from a long lost relative and this will be what will push us to get the new house. Uh, so in the next part, we will move into the new house and get our belly and yeah, so I will see you guys in the next part. Love you guys so much. Bye guys.